Oh, and by the way, while uh, I'm drilling holes in the cabinet, shooting gal <laughs> is uh, cooking up some of that pheasant. Hey there, it's the shooting guy. And uh, we're here, uh, well, I'm not doing any shooting today. What I'm doing is some cabinet work and we're, we're remodeling our kitchen and uh, you're taking a look at how it kind of looks right now. And uh, so I'm putting in some cabinet doors. We're kind of dry fitting some things because we've got this whole section here that needs to still get some work done. But uh, rather than do something on guns and knives, I'm gonna do something on drills. Yeah, this is a drill, an older tool. And uh, it's made by, uh, oh, it's the Yankee number 41 by Stanley. That's right, it's a Stanley tool. Very handy little guy because all the bits and everything are stored right here in the handle. And it's got a little spot where you can put a drop of oil in there so you keep it lubricated. But the idea is you uh, take your bit, and I already got a, a 5 64ths, very odd, bit in here. Um, but it came with one, which was really kind of cool. Put it down in there. It's got a key lock system and turn it and watch this. It goes, doop, yeah, it's locked in there. And when you push on it, it rotates and uh, the drill bit does all the work for you. You just got to put some effort to push down. Let me show you how that works. And what I'm going to do is put the uh, drill bit right in the center of the hole that I drilled for this uh, hinge. And after I measured it and all that, I drew some holes. I got it in the center. I just do a quick little push down or a slow push down and I got the hole started. And I just go like this and look at that. It starts drilling. Now I got a piece of tape because I don't want to drill all the way through this. So I got a piece of tape that'll kind of be my drill stop. And I go down and boom. Mm, I got the pilot hole drill. I got two pilot holes and it is ready to put the hinge. And that's what the uh, Yankee number 41 can do for you. There's an example of what a Yankee 41 can do for you. And there's only one thing better than one Yankee 41. That's right, it's two Yankee 41s. I happen to have two of them, that's right. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit in just a minute here about uh, some of the practical uses, why you would wanna have these. It's more than just uh, you know having it around the house, but how it can work out in your go bag and all that kind of thing. But before we do that, we're gonna get to the specs. Overall length, 10 inches. Handle length, 2 and 7 eighths of an inch. When all the way engaged, uh, it's about 7 inches. The handle is about 1 inch in diameter. It weighs in at 9 and a quarter ounces. All the bits are stored right in the handle. Kind of nice. It comes with all these bits. I'll put the sizes down in the comments section below. It uses a specialized double fluted bit. Depending on the model you have, it'll have a collet that either snaps in place or the older version, it screws in place. It requires very little maintenance, just a little drop of oil every once in a while. Batteries not included because they're not required. It's the Yankee number 41. I wonder if there's a 40 and a 39 and a 38, you know what I mean? And the Yankee 41, because it's nice and small, when you're underneath a cabinet like this, underneath inside the cupboard and you have to drill some holes, you can get it in. You know those big power drills? Sometimes it's really tough, but with this little guy, all you gotta do is slip it inside of here like this, get it in the center where you need to be, make it perpendicular, and start going at it. Start pushing until you get to the end of your tape. And before you know it, uh, uh, there you go. You got yourself a hole. Well, a little bit of the history of these particular ones. I inherited these from my father. He had this one first, and then he bought this one a number of years later. And the difference here is, well, a little bit of the history of, of these push drills in general is that around 1901, the North Brothers uh, developed a push drill, and they call it the Yankee number 41. And uh, around the 1940s, Stanley and Company bought the uh, the rights to and possibly the entire uh, North Brothers Manufacturing Company, and um, started making the uh, the the push drill, the Yankee 41, with the Stanley name on it. But they still in this these particular versions, 
they still have North Brothers on them. And this one is the Stanley, and this is the much older one. And if you take a look real close, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little bit of a close-up here. This one says, patent January 25th, 1898 through October 29th, 1901. That's when those patents were made on this particular one. And I just think that's totally cool. So I've had this for a very long time. My dad was born in 1911, so, um, and I don't know this for a fact, but he may have very well inherited this from his father. That's definitely a possibility, or maybe it was given to him by somebody else. I don't know the story of this one. I do know the story of this one, however. Um, he had a spare one, and one day he caught me playing with this one. Actually, I wasn't playing with it. I was drilling holes in a piece of wood, and... Uh, he thought to himself, you know what, son, I'm going to get you one of your very own. Well, he had this one in his other toolbox, and he handed this one to me. And it was from about, I was about 10 years old, so that would make this about 45 years ago. I've had this drill in my tool bag uh, to use on wood crafting um, from any time I wanted it. And this one's been in my dad's toolbox. I really don't use it much. It's more sentimental than anything else. So I keep it in the toolbox. It's kind of a trophy piece. Um, I have used the bits inside every once in a while because this one has one broken bit and I've used one out of here. Now, why did I show you these today? Well, frankly, because I needed to use them and I saw my dad's old one and I thought I'd share it with you. But really, um, they're small, they're lightweight, they're compact, they have all the, the, the bits built inside. Why wouldn't you want one? Now, unfortunately, they don't make these. They stopped making these about 15 or so years ago and you can't find them except by the Garrett Wade Company. And uh, they've taken it and they continue to make this thing. They even have the bits for it. Um, so you can get them through this other company, not through Stanley, not at Home Depot. You can't find them anywhere around there. But uh, you can get it through Garrett Wade, which I think is totally cool. So, you know, if you happen to have one of these, let me know. Put it down in the comments section down below. Let me know you got one of these. If you've never heard of one of these before, go check them out. So if you work with wood in any way, shape, or form, you're gonna, and you don't have one of these, you're gonna wanna get yourself one of these. It's, um, it's a tool you wonder, how did you ever do without? Sure, you could use a power tool, but hand tools can sometimes be um, much, much better. And a very cool thing to have around. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. You could put this even in your backpack if you wanted to, and if you, you could use it as a weapon. Yeah, that, that'll, that's a formidable weapon. You could whack somebody in the head in that thing, and it would hurt. Um, or if you needed to use a drill at the campsite and you don't have power, <clears throat> you can certainly get one of these guys and uh, drill away and uh, build something um, remotely where you don't have power. Very, very handy. Well, all right, I know, it's not a gun, it's not a knife, it's not one of those things, but it is a very handy tool and I wanted to share it with you today. That's all I've got. Don't forget, we do have a website. We've got a merchandise page. We've got uh, stuff going on on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and all those other things out there. So don't forget to take a look out there. And as a matter of fact, um, I've got this thing. Huh, I'm going to be showing this. If you saw it on Instagram just recently, there's a reason for it because I'm going to do a little review on this watch. I got a whole story about how the other one broke and all that. And I'll share that with you on the next one. Yeah, so don't forget to tune in, okay? And I've got a surprise for you on that particular one as well. All right. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Hey, shooting dog. Are you here to help me and give me some moral support? I guess so. Are you trying to help do... I'm sorry, and the patent was good by a company called Garrett something or other. Or just stay on you. I need a minute.